Hey there you guys, Irene Lyon here. Welcome to this video, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today what I have for you is another Facebook Live episode that I did over on my Facebook group. It's a community called Healthy Nervous System Revolution. Be sure to check it out. And I did what I call a heart meditation. Now, I don't really love the term meditation because this isn't classic meditation where you're trying to focus in on one thing or bring your awareness to the bigger picture. We're actually going to go really specific into the biology of your body, into the viscera, and specifically the heart muscle and what is around the heart, which is something called the mediastinum. Now, I don't want to go into it right now because I explain this in the exercise that I guide you through. If you want to just head right to the exercise, um, I do a little very minor, maybe not even five minute intro to what the nervous system is and the different branches of the nervous system. If you don't want to listen to that, just head to uh, this point in time and enjoy. Give yourself some time to do this, to listen, to watch, to experience and let me know how it goes. I'd love to know. Post a comment below and enjoy tuning into your heart and the area called the mediastinum. Take good care. So the reason I um, want to do this, there's a few reasons. One, the heart space is super important. And as you get to know me, as you stick around, if you stick around, you're going to realize that it's super important to tune into our biology, our physiology, like from the real cells, like the real meat and potatoes of our body, as opposed to staying in the head, as opposed to staying in the head. And the reason why, as a culture, as a human species, at least in the first world, we are very driven by our cortical processes, by our higher brain. Um, we're just so dominant on the cortex, which is this thing here high up in the head of the brain that gives us our capacity to to read and speak and to create things and all the amazing things that humans have invented and yet we we disconnect from the bulk of our physiology okay so just feel that knowledge just know this is important the higher brain is important but so is everything else so we want to be able to not ignore obviously we can't ignore the higher brain if we did we wouldn't be able to survive we want to blend in the higher brain with the rest of the system with the rest of the physiology which is why you're here this group is all about the nervous system connecting with it understanding what the heck the nervous system is right because there's different nervous systems there are um, elements of the nervous system that are purely autonomic. There's central nervous system, which is the brain and the spinal cord. There's the the, the <clears throat> enteric nervous system, which is the gut. There's the perif There's the somatic muscle. You know, it allows you if you move your hands right now and make funny faces. Maybe just try that. Like that's part of your muscular system that's connecting to the nerves of the body, relaying messages. So there's just this. It's pretty amazing. Maybe just take a second as we start this to really tune into this fact that this vessel that we have called a human body and all that is in it, brain, nervous system, organs, skin, muscle, bone, fluids, hair, all of it is this incredible, dynamic, flowing, system. If you're alive, there is some flow. Of course, it's a spectrum, right? There's a spectrum depending on how healthy we are. Flow is either optimal or flow is very sluggish. So this idea of the heart and all that's with it, right? It's pretty intense. It's pretty unique. It's pretty amazing. And as I teach, if you're new to my teaching, you can look at me in the, in the camera. You don't have to. Every now and again, I'm going to orient and look outside or look to my right or look to my left. It's not because I'm ignoring the camera. It's just how I think. So I use my body and my movement to connect with what is around. But I want you to be in your space. And if the camera is distracting you, maybe just turn so that you hear my voice. But every now and again, I might give a little, I might show you something. So then it might be useful to see the camera. There's this area in the chest cavity. So first of all, what I want you to do 
is just drop into the contact that you have between your body and the environment. Might be a chair you're sitting on. It might be the ground, maybe you're lying down. Maybe you're standing up. So you can be in whatever position you want to be, whatever is comfortable. So that's the first stipulation. Be as comfortable as you can be. My pauses are deliberate. My pauses are deliberate. So I will pause so that you have some time to sense this connection with yourself and the environment, the floor. Your eyes can be opened or closed. I actually prefer that people keep their eyes open, but play with it, play with the eyes. The key is that you stay connected to your physical space, to your physical body. So just feel that connection. And then imagine just the thickness of your trunk. So your trunk is sternum, and maybe take your hand gently. Feel that chest area. And I don't want you to strain, and I don't want you to do this, but imagine if there was another hand on your back. You could even put your hand, depending on your shoulder flexibility. There's a lot of space. There's a lot of good stuff between here and the other side. Lung tissue, spine, muscles, bones, tendons, fat, ribs, heart, vessels, arteries, veins. So just maybe even take your hand, sometimes tactile is good, and just gently sense that space. This requires attention with an A, so attention to the, to the space, and also intention. So we're going to go into more intention in a second. So sense this space, this trunk, this thickness, this body of yours. And just notice your breathing first. Notice your breath. Tune into the breath. Tune into the quality of the breath without changing it. There's a tendency when we notice the breath to change it. And what I want you to do is to not change it, to just feel into this space, this trunk space. And just notice how you breathe without any changing. And while you notice your breath, and you notice this thickness of your trunk, just feel again that contact you have with the environment, with the ground, with the chair, with your pelvis, with your feet. If you're against a, a chair or a couch, just against your back. And Just really listen. Listen to the internal, the internal space. Listen to the internal space around the trunk, around the chest cavity, the back of the chest cavity, right? Take your time. Again, my pauses are deliberate. My pauses are deliberate. 
If you're coming on now, that's great. Just take your time to settle. Feel the ground under you, feel the environment under you. And right now, if you're connecting with and touching this front of the body, the ventral portion of the body, where the chest is, the sternum, just keep that attention there. And if your hands have to rest, if you need to let your arm, arms rest because it's getting too tired to keep them up, you can let them rest, but then keep the intention and attention to here. Of course, if you're lying on your back, that might be easier to, to touch so that you're not having to hold the arms up. So do what, is wor do what works for you. Notice the space in the mouth, the jaw, what's happening. Can it be easy? I was teaching a class last weekend or last week here in Vancouver. It's possible that some of you watching this were there. And we had this joke. We had this joke that said, can you be stupid? Right? Can you uh, let the let the jaw hang and just let it be very relaxed, very easy, very chill. Like you don't have a care in the world, just letting that relax. Okay. So now what I want you to imagine is your actual sternum bone, which is quite long. And if you feel, use your fingers, for those of you that don't work with anatomy, this could be a nice little exploration. So you find the top of the chest bone, the breastbone, the sternum, and just gently walk your hands down the midline until where you feel it get soft. So that's your whole chest bone, your whole sternum. And then imagine the back of that, the back of it. So you've got the front that you're touching. Well, it's the skin that you're touching. So feel the skin and then notice how there's tissue, bone. But then notice the back of it. So it's the side on the other side of the sternum. The side that faces your spine. So notice that. And imagine this tissue, because there's tissue there. This thing that I've been mentioning, if you read the explanation, this is where the mediastinum, the mediastinum, it's a fun word to say, mediastinum, maybe even say that out loud just so you can hear it out of your own voice. The mediastinum, it attaches to that back of the sternum. And it's like very clear cellophane, but very, it's translucent. It's like the sheath, but very, it's not muscle. Very space-like, right? Just this sheath. Imagine this sheath going from the back of that sternum of yours into your chest cavity. So this is where you have to kind of imagine like three-dimensional video is inside and you're looking into this area easily in a soft way. So imagine this sheath, this cellophane-y clear stuff that's still very strong, very flexible. Right now, if you're watching, I've, I'm like kind of moving my hands like, like jellyfish, like seaweed, just really gentle. So this sheath goes from there and then it travels back towards the lung, towards the heart. And then it does this little, it kind of, splits so that it can wrap around the heart. So now imagine 
like you've got that little, you know, you've got your little investigation head in there inside. It's going the back of the sternum. This big, big, beautiful sheath that's clear and loose and flowy. And it wraps around the heart, it wraps around the lungs, wraps around the tissue, the vessels, the arteries, the veins that carry your blood up and down through your system because it's doing that right now. Just appreciate that. No matter what's happening right now, just appreciate this fact that there's this, this highway of nutrition, blood, lymph that's moving back and forth, up and down. And then there's this, this sheath, this mediastinum sheath that goes from the back of the sternum, wraps around, splits to get around the heart, and then it keeps going back. And then in like kind of sheath-like fashion, almost like something you'd see out of a real cool science fiction movie, it, it attaches to the front of your spine. So whenever we think of our spine, we think of our, the back, right? That we think of the back of the spine where we can touch. Think of the front of the spine. Think of the front of the spine and how that sheath-like heart muscle We'll call it that, this heart muscle, but it's not muscle, it's very cellophane-y, very clear, how it can then, it can just attach to the, technically, it apparently, according to my sources and teachers, it attaches to a fatty layer on the front of the spine, and it just goes in. And so imagine those two spaces, sternum, spine, and this enveloping, dynamic, living, breathing sheath, protective layer. Imagine it like a protective layer that just wraps around the entire heart cavity, the lungs, This could be a good time if your eyes have been opened, if it feels safe to close them and just visualize if you're not already, this support, this tissue, this mediastinum tissue that just gently holds and supports the heart, the heart space, the lung, the lung space, all of these spaces. Can you still connect to the floor, what you're resting on, your breath? Breathing. Can you feel your heartbeat? Is there a heartbeat that you can sense? And then imagine this sheath, this tissue, kind of like little tentacles, little bits of it, little fibers of it starting to kind of project and in a very lovely way sort of walk its way up into the neck and you could even take your fingers and just kind of walk and touch and feel around the throat maybe say hello to the thyroid area front of the, the, the windpipe, the trachea. Just imagining, again, staying with that trunk, this space, 
and then working, imagining it just like not just, it doesn't just end. It just kind of, I'm doing a funny movement with my hands, but it's like it kind of circulates and like tentacles just sort of connects to the area in the neck and even into the jaw, into all the area. There's lymph glands and again muscles, veins, vessels, blood. And imagine it just again, this like gorgeous supporting network that's just touching and use your own touch. This is a big part of how I teach, what I teach is how can you just connect with your own system. And it isn't about manipulating anything or moving anything around or doing an adjustment. This is, this is a different kind of work. This is a, an, an intentionality to noticing your quality of life, the quality of life inside this heart space, this lung space. Sense in your own system what you notice. And it might be something you're noticing somewhere else in the body. It could be something you're noticing in your arms or in your legs. I'll share a comment that just came up. It said, feels warm and safe. Lovely, long, natural out breath and tingly feet. So the fact that there's a little tingle, and I'm going to assume in a good way, to me is a sense as a is an indication that there's a little bit of deactivation happening in the nervous system things are releasing a little bit things are coming down so just to again drop into this now the supportive network living breathing supportive network and then imagine again like seaweed good seaweed creatures just that that sheath, that cellophane clear tissue kind of working its way down below the heart, below the heart. And imagine it how you want to imagine it. I'm using this kind of seaweed quality. It could be water. It could be beautiful roots. It could be anything so that you just imagine this driving down of this support and just kind of going into the belly, down through the diaphragm, and even as far as into the hip joint. So there's just this, this length, this expansion, so that you can hold in your awareness not just the heart space, but also how this, this space can, this tissue can go up into the neck and upper body, but also articulate down into the lower part of the trunk, into the pelvis, into the hips. Let's feel that. So there's a lot of pieces that you're holding your holding in your awareness, knowing that when you need to just sort of break that awareness and maybe pause, you can. You can stop and look around, see where you are. But just notice this idea of this engulfing space. And then bring the attention back to the, the more chest-like heart space. And just now I'll encourage you, if you're not, to put, put your hands somewhere in that area. It doesn't have to be precise, but somewhere so you can feel. And it can be over your clothes. And just sense that connection. 
and sense that wrapping, that supportive idea of this clear tissue going back behind the sternum, coming off of the sternum, kind of splitting so it can wrap around the heart. Really feel this tissue wrapping around the heart, wrapping around the lungs, and then coming into the back, coming into the spine, on the front of the spine. Just imagine that support. And just let your mind feel this support. Be amazed by it, that it's there. See how quiet, how quiet can you be with it and just focus in on it as its own entity, as its own organism, this idea of this mediastinum tissue, sheath, layer. Imagining it being soft, yet very, very resilient. And even let yourself just move a little bit through the chest, just with the hand there, just kind of guide a little left to right. Little circles one way, the other. And with that, just continue to notice this shifting of your attention continually back to this, this sheath, this, this space that that sheath protects and supports. Keeps your heart in the right position. These tensions allow it to stay. Right? Everything in our system is important. It is a heart. If it was just a heart and nothing around it, it would fall to the ground. So there's all these, these vessels and ligaments and muscles and tissues and and this is a very interesting one because it it, engul it engulfs all of this tissue and it allows it to keep a buoyancy so imagine that heart having a lightness to it an ease to it and Allow your attention to go to not only yourself, but maybe as you're paying attention to this heart space, this biological heart space, to someone you really care about, or a place you care about, or a pet, or something that's very dear to your heart. Bring them into this. Let, let yourself feel that connection with that person or place or thing or animal. And then go a little further out into the people that you might see on a daily basis who help you, who provide for you, who pour you your coffee at the coffee shop. Just very simple appreciation for others. Maybe sense the people here. There's 30 people right now live watching this. And there'll probably be others that come and join later and rewatch this. So as you sense this heart space, this heart support, the buoyancy of it, just if it feels right to you, just connect to a few of the people here, the people here doing this at the same time. Go out a little further. 
to where you live, your community, your country, the people, all the people in your nation, where you live, feeling your own heart space and then knowing that they have this exact same heart space. It's exactly the same in the inside. The tissues, the muscles, it's the same. There's differences, genetics, but by the by, most muscle looks the same color. Most blood is the same color. Most nerve cells are all the same color. And then just go a little further. Just imagine this entire globe of Earth, big Earth, and imagine your own Earth inside of you, this heart, the lungs, and this sheath that just supports and wraps around all these tissues, providing safety, the safety net internally connect to the entire kind of planet and just imagine it and how we can offer it that, this safety, this protection. And watch the thoughts, watch the emotions. And then just come back. How far you go out is really your own prerogative. I'm just offering that as an idea, but you can stay very close to your own space, close to your, your home. You can pick any color to imagine this, this cellophane sheath. Someone just mentioned nice colors in my cellophane. And it is, if you've ever seen the insides of a human when they're alive, might not be something we all see, but I've been blessed to watch, um, my parents are both veterinarians, so I've watched surgeries, good, important surgeries on animals, and there is, there's this very beautiful sheath-like glisteny substance that wraps. There's the fascia, but then there's these other layers and they breathe, they're alive. So I'm gonna end soon. If you wanna post a comment as to what you experienced, what you felt, you can, you don't have to. This area, this mediastinum area, this heart space, it's an, it, it's some of my Mentors will dub it the love muscle. There's something about noticing this. When we just notice it, it becomes, it's like this essence, this very interesting essence of, in many ways, humanity, aliveness. Someone just said there's a stirring inside. And it also, there's a tendency to be able to hold dual qualities, paradoxical emotions. Often there'll be sometimes this deep feeling of love and connection and then a deep sense of sadness or grief. But they can stay at the same time. So there's this interesting quality about this, this space and I think it's because this space, it demands a lot. It holds a lot, it feels a lot, and we need to, I believe, feel these dual qualities. It's not, it doesn't serve us to only be able to have a certain way and then another way. It gets us into trouble. This dualism, right? Good, bad, negative, positive. So how can we have both? Hello, Norway. Yes, someone said they can feel both at the same time. Someone says having trouble accessing this. That's very possible. This will, this will be recorded. This is recording. 
And the thing too, you know, I've done this off the cuff. I have no history on any of you. I don't know the foundations that those of you who are watching have. I don't know if you are practiced at tuning into the internal. This is not something we teach. We teach a lot of meditation and a lot of stretching, a lot of mindfulness techniques, a lot of visualization, but often the connection to our internal environment is completely void in our culture. It takes practice to get this. So it's going to be, everyone's going to have a different experience based on where they are in their day even, and also where they are in their apprenticeship of tuning into their internal physiology. But it's super important, right? So this nervous system stuff, it isn't just about understanding the theory. It's about how can we actually connect with that nervous system and the tissues and listen to it and know what it's saying and hear it and feel it and then do what it needs, express what it needs as opposed to just trying to think our way through these meditations. If we're just thinking about it, we're actually not getting into the body and we're not changing anything. So there's some comments coming in. Feeling a pulse of anger rising too, sure. Warm, war, I'm assuming warming and comforting under my hands, into my lungs, huge yawns. Thank you for saying that, for posting. All right, so I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop the recording. Something to play with, something to listen to. Touch is a very important part of this, just feeling that space and knowing that it's there. Even just knowing that it's there is huge. Like this is the thickness of my upper body. I've got this heart in here, all these vessels, all this goodness. Tune into it, drop into it, know that it's there. Even if you can't feel anything, just, yeah, there's something here. And we need to keep asking it, keep listening to it, keep attending to it. Because when we stop paying attention to this area, it stops talking to us. This is why sometimes when it's hard to feel, we don't know where to go. And it's because for many of us, we've spent a lifetime not listening. So when we haven't been listening to something, it doesn't know how to speak to us and vice versa. Um, another comment felt a lot of constriction and sadness, resolve, soften and open as the tissues went down. And then also out to others, beautiful warmth. Another person, I'm feeling some kind of shivers, quite strange, just under my skin, chest. Yep, that's another sign of your system saying hello to you. So we have to remember our sensations are there for a reason. And as a culture, we have really done so much to whenever we feel anything, we try to stop it, or we try to suppress it, or we try to um, medicate it, right? I think medication is good if we have a broken leg and we need to try to ease the pain. It's very different than the type of emotional pain and chronic pain that is just there as a result of all this disconnection. I started, for those of you getting on now, be sure to go to the beginning of this, but I started talking about how a lot of our mindfulness is just in the mind and we need to learn how to connect to the body. Because if we can't connect to the body, we're not doing anything. So we're not, it's, it ain't working, right? Our system, it's like a car. If all you had was the steering wheel, you wouldn't get anywhere right? If all you had was the steering wheel, you wouldn't get anywhere. Even if you had a big tank of gas and just the steering wheel, you're still not, not going to get anywhere. Same with the body. If all you do is focus on the thinking and the mindset and even the emotions, but if we don't listen to the physical experience, if we don't get into the physical areas and touch and movement, we're not driving this vessel in the way that it's meant to be driven. We're just driving it. We're not driving it. You're welcome. Upper arm, shoulder, lower face tingling. I feel like I want to own up. That's cool. Bit of pain aching around the heart area. Sure. 
So when you notice these aches, just be gentle with them. And uh, that's it for now. It's uh, Wednesday. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday if this is live. Enjoy whatever day it is if you're listening to this and watching this after the fact. If you've just joined, be sure to go back and start from the beginning. Bye for now, everyone.